This is my once a month grocery haul from Aldi for January. They had a lot of sales stuff. I picked up some leftover Christmas stuff. But overall, I got pretty much everything I wanted. I was kind of worried about fruits and vegetables and stuff. I didn't know how picked over they were going to be. But starting, I did get a pack of green peppers. I'm going to be making Spanish rice, and I want to throw some of these in. And then I like throwing these in eggs and salads and different things. I did get two things of blueberries because they were $1.99 for a case of these, which is really good this time of year in my area. So I got two. My kids are already eating some out of this package. So these won't last long, but that's okay. I did get a thing of grapes, not a great price, but we've been so sick constantly over the last couple of months, and I'm just trying to keep pushing fruits and vegetables, hoping that that'll help maybe, I don't know, but so I did get grapes. I did get two packages of baby carrots. We do these for sides and snacks, mostly for the kids, and then I'll use, like I have a bag of whole carrots right there that I use in uh, recipes and soups and things like that. I did get two bunches of bananas, they were 40 cents a pound. I should have gotten more, but quite honestly, my freezer's full of bananas right now that I need to use up, so I didn't want to put more bananas in there because I already have too many. So I went conservative on the bananas, if that makes sense. I did get a thing of mini cucumbers. My kids really like these, and I haven't gotten them in a while, so I got one bag. I probably should have gotten two. They already ate a couple out of here. Those carrots that I mentioned, and I think, oh, pineapple is the last fruit or veg that I got. I pick up the rest of my fruits and vegetables from Walmart. This is kind of just what they had that looked uh, good. Aldi, my Aldi can be kind of hit or miss on fruits and vegetables, so that's what I got this time. Uh, heading into meat, I got one package of hot dogs. I probably should have gotten two, but just one. There are 24 in here. My kids really like these. I got a whole chicken. I plan on doing chicken salad with this and then making chicken broth and stuff I need some of that so they're 99 cents a pound 577 total and I'll just freeze this and pull it out when I want it they did have sweet potato fries and I did buy them because I'm the only one that really likes sweet potato fries so I got two bags that'll last me a while because nobody else is really gonna eat them I did get a package of burgers there are 12 in here this will last us more than this month but I have Big Macs in my meal plan and then we'll probably just eat the rest of them for lunches we also go through a lot of lunch meat. That's kind of a go-to lunch around here. So I got two things of bologna, two packages of ham. I already have a ton of turkey in my freezer, so I didn't need any of that. Two things of turkey, kielbasa. I have these on my meal plan. So I only needed two. Two things of pepperoni for homemade pizzas and strombolis we're doing this month. We also do like hot ham and cheese sandwiches or uh, grilled cheese with pepperonis in them quite often for lunch and we're also doing that for dinner once this month So just two to make sure we have enough I'm trying to go back to eating fish once a week throughout the year We kind of stumbled off on that towards the end of 2021 So hopefully we can make that a thing so I got a thing of salmon We're gonna make salmon patties out of these and then I'm gonna take just a little bit off the end here and save it for hot tuna casserole we like to throw salmon and crab meat and stuff in it just different kinds of you know seafoods we'll throw in there and it's really good so we'll get probably two or three maybe even four meals out of this salmon it's definitely our most expensive meal of the month but we try to throw this in probably once every other month i decided to stock up on pasta sauces and marinara sauces i completely ran out off of my storage shelf so I'm just stocking up. I got six things of traditional pasta sauce. This is what we'll use for like marinara sauce. And then I got six things of tomato, onion, and garlic. And then next time I go, I'll probably get another case just like this, just to make sure that I have plenty. I'm planning on doing like a muffin making day and getting them in my freezer because I do have a ton of those bananas I want to use. I also want to do applesauce oat muffins and then I got a couple things of blueberry muffins because they just sounded good. So I got two boxes of these. These were some of the leftover pretzels that they carry for Christmas time. They were on sale for 40 cents a bag so I got two of them just because I thought they would do well on my long-term food storage shelf. We don't have any pretzels on it right now, so I figured this would work. The kids like dipping pretzels in Nutella or peanut butter, so just a snack to have on the shelf. I did get a pack of potato chips for the hot tuna casserole. I like to throw these in there myself, 
So that's what these are for, and then the rest of the bag will just be for snacking. We might also use these in the Spanish rice. We like to eat chips with that. I went back to this, these brands of tortilla chips. Aldi has two different brands that I switch back and forth between. And I'm back to these. I got the strips this time, just for something different, I guess. Just I like to go back and forth. I don't know. I guess, let me know if you're the same way. I get two things of hot dog buns. I will throw these in the freezer, pull them out when I need them. So these are for the burgers, and then we're also doing sloppy joes. Two things of mini bagels. These are actually mostly for pizzas for the kids for lunches. Typically is what we use these for. Same thing, I'll throw these in the freezer and pull them out when I need them. These last a pretty long time in my pantry as well. I almost never have these mold on me. I got three gallons of milk. I'm going to start buying all my milk that I need for the month and freezing it. I'm tending to realize that I don't even need to go back for a mid-month haul if I have all the milk that I need and all the bread that I need. So I've been just trying to buy what I need for the whole month and then truly just doing these hauls that you guys watched at the beginning of the month for all of my groceries. So I got three things of white milk and I, I should have gotten more but my cart was really full and I was going to Walmart, so I was like, oh, I'll just get more Walmart. And then guess what? I went to Walmart, my cart was really full. So I will probably go back maybe next week and get some more milk and freeze it. I have a video that I will link down below on how I freeze milk if you're interested. I walked through the Isle of Shame. I did film a video on that. That might be up or it's coming up. So that'll be up <laughs> shortly. But I did get these poultry shears. They were $4.99. And I thought for $4.99 they would be worth it to give it a try. So I... Picked up this for myself. Two things of applesauce, one for eating, and then one to make sure that I have enough for those muffins. I have one that I just opened in my fridge, so both of these are gonna go on my storage shelf. And maybe if I'm lucky, I'll be able to keep one on long-term storage, but definitely gonna do some baking with these. Two things of tomato juice, one for the Spanish rice and one for my storage shelf. I did get one thing of salsa just to put on my storage shelf. A lot of storage shelf things happening, but throughout the holidays, I took a lot off of it and I'm trying to put stuff back. We were also sick, so we weren't going into stores and stuff, so I'm just trying to replenish now that I'm able to do that. Lots of frozen fruit. I learned that I need one bag a week, so typically I'll get four or five bags. I do have a bag of pineapple still, so I got two things of berry blend. The berry blends we mostly use for smoothies or I'll throw these in oatmeal. And then the blueberries, my kids typically will just eat frozen just like they would fresh blueberries, just pop them in their mouth. They love them, so sometimes we also throw these in pancakes, but mostly they just eat them straight frozen. They told me they taste just like popsicles, so there you go. I got two things of these flour tortillas. There's 20 in here, so 40 for the month. My kids do roll-ups, and roll-ups are basically just one of these tortillas with lunch meat, cheese, a pickle. Sometimes they'll do peanut butter and Nutella, peanut butter and jelly. We also make quesadillas out of these, probably once a week for lunches. So we go through quite a bit of these, and I will freeze these, pull them out of my freezer when I need them, and they thaw beautifully. Sometimes if I forget and it's lunchtime and they want to roll up, they want a quesadilla, I'll just pull them out of my freezer and pop them in the microwave for about 35 seconds until they thaw enough where I can pull them apart, and it works great. I got a couple packages here, one, two, three packages of these large tortillas. My husband wants breakfast burritos for lunch. We're doing no spend January which basically just means we're trying not to spend any money unnecessarily. So basically to prevent him from stopping and getting breakfast somewhere before he goes to work, I'm gonna make him burritos. So those are what those are for. Just some pantry stuff. So I got some teriyaki sauce. I needed that for a meal. Joe said something about wanting hot sauce. So I picked up a bottle of hot sauce, uh, barbecue sauce, Sweet Baby Ray's. We're doing barbecue chicken this month. Needed more ketchup and some shaky cheese. I needed that for a couple meals. I did get a big thing of Crisco, ran out of this throughout the holidays, so I needed more of that. I figured for regular tacos, this month we were just going to do hard shells just to switch it up and keep it interesting. I think my kids like these better anyway, so I got two of those. I got six boxes of mac and cheese because they were 30 cents, so they were on sale. And I figured for my food storage, these would be good. Also, just easy lunches, weekend lunches, just to have. So I got some mac and cheese. I also got six things of the corn muffin mix. Sometimes if I didn't think about making rolls for dinner and we wanted rolls or something like that, having these on hands is nice because 
they're just really quick and easy. Plus we'll throw hot dogs in here and do like um, homemade cornbread muffins and things like that. We'll throw ham in here or blueberries and they're really good. One lonely box of pasta, that's all I needed this month, at least for boxed pastas. These Christmas pastas were on sale. They're just they're just fun Christmas shapes. So Santa sleigh, Santa reindeer, different things like that. They were 99 cents. So I got three packages, and because they're pasta, they'll last a whole year on my food storage shelf. No, not a problem. They're just over a pound each. And I figure I'll just hold on to these until next year, and then cook with these around Christmas time next year, and the kids will get a huge kick out of it. So I go went ahead and grabbed some of these. I like these wide egg noodles for casseroles, so I got two bags just to keep on hand because I used mine throughout the holidays. A couple different blocks of cheese. We use these mostly for uh, hot ham and cheese sandwiches or grilled cheese, so three things of extra sharp, sharp cheddar and then two things of Colby Jack. I got the two things of taco style cheese. That's all I needed this month. I got one thing of mozzarella because I still have one in my freezer. This is a two pound bag. We usually go through about two to three pounds a month of mozzarella for homemade pizzas and strombolis and we use these in quesadillas and stuff sometimes too. And then three things of Colby Jack. That is all I needed for this month. This whole Aldi haul came to $220 which I thought was a pretty decent price. The cashier actually complimented me on my shopping skills today which made me feel like a super cool person. <laughs>